We continue our reading of Lest We Forget, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Today's reading, July 19, The Way Things Worked, the case of J.G. Matheson. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. 1 Peter 4.10 Sometimes things actually do work well. Sometimes everything does seem to come out as God would have it. Such was the case of John Gotheleb Matheson, born in Denmark in 1835. He emigrated with his parents to Wisconsin in 1854, bringing with him a good education, but all the also the skepticism of so many of his native land. Considering himself a free thinker, one of his enjoyable pastimes was to bait preachers with questions they couldn't answer. But open-minded baiters can meet their Waterloo. So it was when Matheson heard a preacher talk enthusiastically about the beauty of heaven. Having been raised in the atmosphere of the dead state churches of Europe, he had never known a living religion. That experience led to a chain of events in which he recalls, In the forest alone I found Jesus as my personal Savior. In 1859, soon after his conversion, he felt a call to preach. And preach he did even though he didn't know his Bible very well. God blessed from the beginning as people responded to his obvious sincerity. In 1860, he entered the Baptist Theological Seminary in Chicago, and in 1862 was ordained a Baptist pastor. So far, so good, but it got better. In 1863, he accepted the Seventh-day Adventist message. His congregation requested that he preach his new faith to them, which he happily did. For six months, he presented a series of sermons on Adventist beliefs, with the result that all joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church, except one family. An effective preacher, Matheson developed a Danish to Norwegian churches across the Midwestern states. Then, in 1872, he got the idea to publish a periodical in the language of his converts. The Advent Tident became the first Seventh-day Adventist, Adventist periodical in a language other than English. Copies soon found their way back to Scandinavia to make converts in a pattern that would repeat itself in many lands the new believers soon wrote to America requesting a missionary. Matheson accepted the call in 1877, and the next 11 years he established churches in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. When there, while there, he organized the first conference outside the Nor of North America, Denmark in 1880, and founded the first publishing house outside the United States. During his ministry, he would lead some 2,000 people into the faith he loved. Matheson's life illustrates the way things should work. Thank you, Father, for such blessings in the past. We pray for them in the present. And this concludes our reading today of Lest We Forget.